In this Sitefinity developer video, we will demonstrate how to install and use Sitefinity Thunder. Thunder is a Visual Studio extension designed to make it easier for developers to extend and customize Sitefinity. The Sitefinity Thunder plugin is a free download and is available both through the Visual Studio Gallery website as well as through the extension manager of Visual Studio itself. You can find the plugin in the Visual Studio Gallery website by searching for Sitefinity. Select Sitefinity Thunder, then click Download to run the installer. When running the installer from Visual Studio, be sure to exit any running instances of Visual Studio before installing Thunder. To install Thunder directly from Visual Studio, open the Extensions Manager from the Tools menu. From here, open the Online Gallery tab and search for Sitefinity. Click Download to run the plugin installer. And when running the installer from Visual Studio, be sure to restart the IDE afterwards so that the plugin can be properly loaded. Sitefinity Thunder is now installed and ready to use in Visual Studio under the Telerik menu. The settings here can be used to connect and deploy to a live website, which we'll look at in another video. For now, we'll look at how you can use the new theme project type provided by Thunder to easily add and register a theme in a Sitefinity website. Here's a simple Sitefinity site which is using the basic theme provided out of the box. Thunder makes it easy to add a new theme to your solution directly from the context menu. Simply right click to add a new item. Then search for Sitefinity, revealing the Sitefinity theme template. Give the theme a name and add it to your project. Thunder creates a new theme in the app data slash Sitefinity folder, which contains all of the basic CSS files and images used by the default theme in Sitefinity, allowing you to override this theme with your styles. In addition, Thunder registers your theme in the Sitefinity configuration settings so that it is immediately available to your website. For this example, we'll simply modify the background and font colors to demonstrate the new theme in action. These are defined in the layout.css file in the global folder. I'll paste in the new styles for the body tag here. And save changes. Now let's open the Sitefinity administration for our website. We can verify the existence of the new theme by navigating to Administration, Settings, Advanced, Appearance, and finally front-end themes. Here we see both the basic theme and the one for my themes which we created using Thunder. Let's switch the theme for the templates that are used by our pages by going to Page Templates under the Design menu. As you can see here, our two pages use the template named Right Sidebar, Header, and Footer. So let's open that and change its theme. In the Template Editor, we'll click the Theme button on the top right corner, then from the drop-down menu select the new theme, and finally publish our page. Now if we refresh our public website, We see that both the background and font color have changed since we are now using the new theme. Sitefinity Thunder is designed to help developers more easily work with Sitefinity websites inside the native Visual Studio environment. For more information on using Thunder or any other Sitefinity topic, please visit sitefinity.com documentation. And thank you for watching this video.